My mum was the first Matajbe in the suburb. Whenever she walked down the street, everyone stared. She was on show all the time. We never went out if there was not an important or good reason. Going to get the milk from the corner shop became Operation Stay Safe as we prepared ourselves mentally for abuse or attacks. Even at home, we were always on guard. I remember my mother and I hanging washing out when rocks and bricks started flying over our fence. My mother grabbed me and tried to shield me, but was hit with a brick and her arm was broken. My mum is the strongest person in the world. She survived losing the baby boy she had been praying for. When a young youth riding his bike kicked her in the stomach. The nurses left her dead baby boy next to her bed for hours before they remembered to remove him. She believed having a boy might help to protect her six girls. As a child, I had to witness things like my five-year-old sister being forced to walk in the mud by a gang of bullies. My father getting into so many fights defending our rights to be Muslims in the suburbs. One time, I watched my father being attacked by eight young men and women. I saw one of the girls jump on his back and started pulling his hair out. Seeing that made me very, very angry because although my father was around 40, he looked like a 65 year old with a small frame and white hair. How can they attack an old man? My instinct was to go out there and defend my father. All I could think of in my 13 year old mind was I have to help my dad. My mother had to restrain me from going out. When the police finally arrived, instead of asking our attackers, they questioned the old white head man. What did you do to them? It wasn't that my parents had a choice. They left a war zone to live in peace. We thought when we got to Australia, we had escaped conflict, never expecting a war in the suburbs. My father felt a lot of guilt. He never thought that his wife would be subjected to such violent attacks because of what she chose to wear. My father was forced into making the decision not to allow his six daughters to have their religious rights to wear the hijab. He could not be with us always to protect us from the people who had no respect for others' rights. My parents always taught us to be good Muslims and encouraged us to extend our hand to people in need. Here I am now empowering women to make sure they know their rights so that they can live with dignity and choose who they want to be.